A stroke occurs when there is a sudden loss of blood supply to a part of the brain. This can be caused by a burst blood vessel, haemorrhage, or a blocked blood vessel, ischemic stroke. How the stroke survivor is affected will depend on which part of the brain is damaged by the stroke. This film talks about swallowing after a stroke. We swallow throughout the day and night without even thinking about it. Up to 65% of stroke survivors have difficulty swallowing after a stroke. This is called dysphagia. Swallowing problems happen because the muscles in the mouth and the throat are not working properly. This can mean that food stays in the mouth, sometimes falls out, or may go down the wrong way into the lungs. When a stroke survivor is admitted to hospital and has difficulties with swallowing, they will be seen by a speech and language therapist. In the early stages of their stroke recovery, it may be necessary for a tube to be passed up their nose and into their stomach to provide necessary nutrition, hydration and medication. If their swallowing problems continue when they leave hospital, a feeding tube into the stomach may be needed. This is called a PEG tube. Some stroke survivors will be able to manage to eat and drink but need modified diet and or fluids. These recommendations are made by a speech and language therapist. People with swallowing problems will often improve, but some people may go home and still have problems with swallowing. No one should ever drink or eat when lying down. Ideally, a stroke survivor should be sat in a chair with a table in front of them. Some people who have had a stroke cannot sit in a chair, so should be supported upright in bed, even if someone is fed by a tube. Some stroke survivors will need assistance when eating or drinking. There may be specific recommendations regarding safest fluids and food textures. Check if the stroke survivor needs any help and check the speech and language therapy guidelines for specific advice. Take your time, watch and wait to make sure they have finished each mouthful. Stay close with someone when they are eating or drinking. They might need your help. There are a few signs to look out for which tell you that someone might not be managing. Coughing when eating or drinking or immediately after swallowing. A wet, gargly voice after swallowing. Food spilling out of their mouth or staying in their mouth, for example, pocketing in their cheek after they've swallowed. Mouth care might be needed after a meal or if the patient is not eating and drinking at all. It is important to make sure that the stroke survivor is eating and drinking enough. They may not manage a big meal. Food and drink may be better in smaller amounts. Swallowing. Sit up, assist, monitor.